I'm Ivan Gruel, Chief Investment Officer with Avantax. Today we'll provide a market update for April. We'll start with a brief recap of market returns and then shift to Russia-Ukraine, the outlook for the economy, and inflation and the Federal Reserve response. So over the course of the first quarter of 2022, stock markets saw a sharp correction, with the S&P 500 index falling by 13% in early March before recovering to finish the quarter down 4.6%. In bonds, yields rose steadily over the first quarter, with the 10-year Treasury increasing in yield from 1.5% at the beginning of the year to almost 2.5% by the end of March. This led to total returns of around minus 6% for both taxable and municipal bond indexes. Turning to Russia-Ukraine, for the U.S., the market implications of a Russia invasion of Ukraine is via higher energy prices, given that Russia is a major global supplier of oil and natural gas. This could slow the European economy, but for the U.S. it should have a smaller impact. As this chart shows, the amount spent on energy in household budgets has been declining and now accounts for only about 4% of consumer spending. In addition, growth in U.S. oil production in recent years has resulted in the U.S. being essentially self-sufficient in oil, which should be a factor in helping the economy to keep growing despite the war in Ukraine. Also, the U.S. is releasing a million barrels of oil from the Strategic Oil Reserve every day for the next six months. This represents about 5% of the daily demand and should help ease oil and gas prices. Inflation in the economy continues at a record pace, with February headline CPI up to 7.9%. In addition to pressure on energy and food prices brought on by the Russia-Ukraine conflict, inflation has been fueled by fiscal stimulus, surging consumer spending, and supply shortages across major sectors of the economy. Earnings have recovered since the big declines of 2020 and hit a new all-time high in 2021. Earnings have been helped by strong consumer demand and higher productivity as businesses have been able to reduce costs. Looking forward, higher wage costs and higher interest rates should slow the growth of profits, but we expect real GDP growth to remain positive, approaching 2% by next year. Futures markets are now pricing in a half percent rate increase for each of the next two meetings with short rates now expected to be in the 2.5 to 2.75% range by year end. In terms of investment implications, for bond investors, this aggressive Fed response to high inflation has led to a sharp rise in yields in the first quarter of 2022. This chart shows the negative returns across the various asset classes, along with the impact of a 1% rise in interest rates for each of these sectors. We continue to advocate a bias toward shorter maturity bonds with higher yields while maintaining a well-diversified portfolio. We believe that the anticipated rate hikes are now largely priced into the bond markets and view this as a good point to reinvest cash flows and new money at more attractive levels. For example, the yield on the taxable bond index is now about 3%, up over 1% from the start of 2022. Similarly, yields on municipal bonds have increased by about 1.5% to a current level of 2.6% at the end of March. These higher yields will act as a buffer to price changes and provide a higher income level to the investor going forward. In stocks, forward price to earnings valuations have come down from a high of about 23 times to 19.5 times currently, and value stocks in particular remain at historically cheap levels suggesting that investors looking for income and diversification should include a meaningful value stock allocation. Our final chart shows an index of consumer sentiment over the past 50 years. Eight peaks and troughs are noted, and on average, buying at a confidence peak yielded a 4.4% return the following year, while buying at a trough returned 24.5% on average. The moral of this story? Investors should stay focused on a diversified portfolio that fits their goals and not try to time the market. Thank you for watching. So until next month, have a nice day.